Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking the time to come back over here and visit us over here at Rochester's Heating and Airs Channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a proud Kentucky Master HVAC contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And we've basically been doing a, uh, a, a few videos here, uh, tech tips. And actually what we're trying to do is maybe uh, provide some information and hopefully help along some of the upcoming new tradesmen and tradeswomen to the HVAC industry and maybe along the way actually help uh, maybe uh, give a refresher to some of the season techs out there. All right, guys, we're coming up into the uh, AC season now, and uh, basically I thought uh, we might do something on subcooling, the charging method. And uh, well, I guess let's get started here. Uh, proper system charging. The method used to charge a system depends on the metering device. To properly charge a system with an expansion valve, a TXV, you must charge by subcooling. To charge a fixed metering device system, a piston, you must use superheat. Okay, subcooling charging method, TXV, expansion valve, R410A, and R22. Subcooling is defined as the temperature of a liquid refrigerant when it is cooled below its condensing temperature. Subcooling takes place in the condenser and is determined by subtracting the liquid line temperature, as read on a digital thermometer strapped on the liquid line, from saturation temperature, the gauge temperature, the temperature that corresponds to the pressure read on the high side gauge. Okay, let's get started. Step one, locate unit required subcooling from unit nameplate or the literature. Typically, it's going to be between 8 and 12 degrees uh, design. All right, guys. Um, step two, measure liquid pressure, all right, and convert to temperature, a PT chart or whatnot, or read your gauge there. All right, step three, subtract required subcooling, which was step one, from converted temperature, step two. This is the required liquid line temperature. Step four, measure liquid line temperature. If the measured liquid line temperature does not equal the required liquid line temperature, we need to add refrigerant to lower the temperature or remove refrigerant to raise the temperature. Okay guys, and it's stating here and most of the units I've been on it says we have an, an allowance or a tolerance of plus or minus three degrees. Okay guys, um, I've just been talking to several of my great buddies and uh, they're actually telling me now that uh, a tremendous amount are uh, there's several manufacturers now that are going to start requiring us to have a 1.5. They're only going to tolerate a 1.5 difference. Okay, that's going to be plus or minus 1.5. And we need to pay attention. We have to start reading our, uh, our installation guides. I can't stress this enough. And our service facts. Because that's where we're going to find this stuff. And basically, like on all these new efficient, high efficiency models we're having, um, the design subcool could have something to do with it, whether or not it's an upflow, whether or not it's a downflow, whether or not it's horizontal left, whether or not it's horizontal right. We have to read the literature, guys, and we need to be following it stringently. All right, here's another cue for testos, baby. Uh, the compound gauges, man, I, I, I just don't understand. There's no way that y'all are going to be able to be doing this, especially at those tolerance levels. Or I mean, if you do, more more power to you. But I'm just telling you, if y'all if y'all will get some digital gauges, it's going to bring you into the light. I'm telling you, and everything you're going to see is going to be in real time. Okay, all right, guys, there I go again preaching. But uh, man, I I can't tell you how much I appreciate y'all stopping by and viewing my videos. Like I said, by no means are these glamorous. I know I'm probably boring the heck out of a lot of my brothers and sisters on here, but uh, I am genuinely trying to help. So. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching and, uh, and, and take care. I reckon we'll holler at y'all real soon.